Hey everybody, it's Nate and Steph from Explorers.life. We teach people how to build DIY campers. Welcome back to episode number 20 in our Ford Transit build series. In the last episode, we installed scene lighting, and in this episode, we're gonna show you our tips and tricks for wire management to take the van from this to this. Let's get started. In the last five episodes, we have been installing all of our lights and switches and dimmers and all the other branch circuits that go around the van. And admittedly, it was kind of a mess throughout the entire process. So here are seven products under $25 each that we use to help us clean up this installation. Product number seven on the list is going to be a headlamp and a flashlight. Headlamp is gonna be good for just those small tight corners whenever you're trying to work on really small wires. But a flashlight, the smaller the better, is gonna be nice for putting into the cavities of the van so that you can spot some of the hard to see holes to run wires through. Product number six is these wire strippers. Now these are really useful for quickly restripping the wires as we shorten them up and got them all cleaned up to get them back into the lever nuts. Product number five is going to be a hot knife. You just plug this end into the wall and this end gets really hot. And it allows you to melt the ends of the loom so that the end of the loom just kind of melts together so it doesn't fray. And that brings us to our number four product, which is wire loom. Wire loom comes in three different types, which is split loom, unsplit loom, and corrugated loom. Now we didn't really use corrugated loom in this installation. We have used it before, but it's a little bit more rigid and a little bit harder to work with. So we stuck with the split loom and the unsplit loom. We really found that the split loom in three quarter inch was really helpful for doing those longer runs with the bigger bundles of wire. And then we used a ton of the unsplit loom in quarter inch and half inch sizes to do the individual branch circuits and some of those shorter runs. Number three is going to be a label maker. Uh, we use the label maker to label all the circuits throughout the entire van. It's going to be really easy whenever we go to hook up our 12 volt fuse panel later on in the build so that we know what wires go to what. Now this barely makes the $25 cutoff as this particular label maker was like 60 bucks, but I think there are some $25 versions on Amazon, so it still made the cut. And our number two product is these zip tie mounting squares. And we mounted these all over the van so that we could zip tie the cables up to the van in nice neat rows. And this kept everything really, really clean. And at number one with our most useful product is literally going to be 1000 zip ties. Now we didn't use a thousand zip ties for this process here. Got quite a few left over, but you can get a thousand zip ties for less than 25 bucks. And what you don't use on your van electrical system, you can roll these up and put them in your toolbox and use them for any other projects that you've got going on. I wish I knew how much we spent on our very first electrical installs going to Ace Hardware and buying them like 20 at a time because I guarantee you there's more than 25 uh, bucks for that. So that is our number one product, a thousand zip ties. And those are our best tips for wire management. If you're not sure how we got to this point in the build, click below to binge watch our playlist. And if you are all caught up, click here to watch the next video in the series where we are installing a 24 volt DC nomadic air conditioner on top of the van. See you in the next video.